Hello, my name is Connor Rindler, and I'm going to show you one method to make an egg over easy. To do this, you'll only need a couple ingredients and a few supplies. First of all, you'll need some sort of heat source. I have a conventional electric stovetop, a gas range, or a hot plate will work totally fine. I have a nonstick pan here. I got this at Walmart for about $7. You'll need something to flip the egg over, and also you'd want it so it will not damage the bottom of your nonstick pan. I just have a plastic spatula here. Uh, for ingredients, you won't need many. Um, you'll need some sort of lubricant. I use classic Crisco canola oil, and I'll use about a little over a half tablespoon. I call that a heavy half. You can add it right in. Basically, you just need enough oil, butter, olive oil, any sort of lubricant uh, that can easily coat the bottom of the pan so your egg can slide around and easily be flipped. Also, you'll need one egg, and I have a little optional salt and pepper here too. All right guys, well, we'll get to the cooking process. All right, for the cooking process, you wanna turn your range on to medium to high heat. I go about a little over medium, so like six, seven, eight is my range. We'll add our oil directly to our pan. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, swirl it around. You want the oil to be hot enough that it easily coats the bottom of the pan. There we go. Take our egg. Crack it right into that oil. There we are. Now, as the oil solidifies, or sorry, as the egg cooks, the outside of the egg will start to solidify. As it becomes white and loses its, its translucency, um, you'll know that the egg is ready to flip when it can easily slide around in the bottom of the pan. That means the edges have completely became solid and the bottom is solid enough that it's ready to be flipped over. So, all right guys, as the egg cooks, you can see it start to lose its translucency. You can kind of mess with it a little bit, try to get it off the bottom of the pan. Either way, you don't want to agitate it too much because you want to ensure that the yolk stays intact throughout the entire process. All right, as the egg starts to cook, you'll see the egg start to solidify. It'll bubble and kind of spit at you, that's okay. If the egg can slide around in the bottom of the pan, without having any of the white spill over its outside edges, it is ready to flip. This can happen relatively quickly, actually. So here we go. Once you know that it can do that, you wanna take your spatula, you wanna get right under it as best you can, and then in one motion, flip it right over. There we go. Now, as you cook it on this side of the egg, the other side, what I do is I like to add my little optional salt and pepper here at this point, just a little pinch. And then, all you're trying to do is cook the remainder of the whites to solid. You don't want to cook the yolk to solid, or else you'll lose the integrity of the over-easy egg. The whole point and the calling card of an over-easy egg is to have a loose yolk. All right, see, there we go. We've cooked the whites through. Our egg's starting to move easy again. Once you serve this, you'll just want to let it cool, and it's ready to enjoy. This has been Connor Rindler on How to Cook an Egg Over-Easy. Mm-hmm.